This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hi, everybody. Hi, Welcome everyone. to the podcast. It's hey. Sean's birthday podcast. Yeah. Oh, such he a celebration. He doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> well, you treated me like a king as you normally do no. uh, and served me a, a sausage roll cake. No, sorry, a, a chico, chico roll, roll cake. cake. It was like he was wow. here. Uh, also, we uh, talk about people not liking what their parents call them off a little boy named Fart. We have some big names. <laughs> Andrew Gaze. Oh, that was huge. Basketballing great, talking about LeBron James. We threw in Sean Darcy from the Dockers, Just who's a six big foot unit. nine. <laughs> yes. Um, we've got Janelle from Married at First Sight. Yeah, yeah we do. Tom Ballard. Yeah. And what else? Well, oh, that, we have a go at Ellie. We have a go at Ellie. That's what we're we had. We had a go at Ellie. That's probably the most important thing of the entire morning. Well, it was Sean's birthday. He could do what he wants. Nathan, Nat, and Sean on Nova 937. It's five past six. Nathan, Nat, and Sean. It's a big day. It is. It is a huge day. Sean McDonald. Time for celebration. Happy birthday to you. 35 years old. How do you feel? <laughs> Unbelievable. Jeez, it's you the retired moisturizer. from pretty young. Oh, you did, yeah. The oil yeah, of cro- Ulay. Crookets. And... <laughs> the oil of Ulay on my face all yes. the time. Though. Oil of Ulay. Is that what it is? You remember when oil of Ulay was the fanciest of all the <laughs> all the creams that <laughs> mum would buy? It was oil of Ulan and then Ulan, it changed yeah. to oil yeah, of yeah, Olay. Yeah. And, then, okay, such and before oh. the Olay experience, I feel like it was um because all the um people in Kalgoorlie would come down to Perth to get stuff from the body shop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty fancy. Oh, if you got stuff from the body shop, you will. Oh, that you're was living a Hollywood life. Such a go-to for your uh, mum's or oh, yeah. sister's, sister's uh, boyfriend. Yeah, that was everything. everything. No, yep, yep, birthday, yep. Yeah. Loved it. So we've got you a basket of goodies from oh, the body good. shop. Oh, good. Thank you. Yes. Now, we've decided this year to do low-key birthdays oh, all around. we cannot be so... bothered anymore. <laughs> you know what? You guys did such an amazing job for me um, last That's year. We had you celebrated a bar. Oh, let's be honest. You hated getting the massage. Well, there was but the, a, there was, the food there was, a was great. Full of, people. full of people. Sean doesn't like taking his shirt off around people anyway, unless he's down at the beach because he doesn't want to be objectified. <laughs> um, even though we bought him a G string, they won't wear it. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a lot, and it was cold. Remember yeah, it was how cold, cold it, was? it was. Cold. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, anyway. we decided this year, like nothing. Nah. No. I mean, we'll acknowledge his birthday. Thank you. Yeah, like, this Happy is birthday. This Done. is all he gets, so we will not mention again. <laughs> <laughs> no one past this time will know. I mean, special gift for you, though. Pink announced she's touring during a stadium tour. Oh, I did tour. hear that, Matt. Are, are you pretty excited pretty about excited that? Pretty excited about that, We've yeah. We've got tickets to give away later this morning. Her first time she's done stadium tours. Yeah. She's, so she's playing off the stadium in all the big stadiums around the yes. country. Okay. Well, that gets me excited. Put 1st of March 2024 in the diary, Gosh, everybody. I tell you what, off the stadium, yes. we're very excited to use all their pink lights, won't we? Won't they? Oh, there you go. It writes itself, doesn't it? Ever felt like a holiday after your holiday? Plan your next getaway on the What If app and access mobile exclusive deals. Plus, select hotels are fully refundable just in case your plans change. Booking cancellation windows apply. What if it's Aussie for travel? Are you ready to rock? Excellent! open with these three and nothing says I love you like a new garage door. Take a moment to appreciate doors this Valentine's Day at Quokka Garage Doors. Oh, here we go. We're about to hear from our garage bands, carefully selected by us because we know garage bands because we're in one. We are. The Moist Decoy. The Moist um, Can't wait for the T-shirts to get out there. All our contestants need to do is guess the title of the song the Garage Band is playing, Best of Three. Let's meet our contestants. Well, we've got Sophie and Shari. Good morning to you. First of all, Sophie. Hey, Sophie. Good morning. Hi, Sophie. Um, history suggests while playing this game, we ask people, are they um, got quite a broad musical knowledge? And the answer is no. <laughs> How about yourself? Um... People do say that I know the words for a lot of songs, so okay. I hope so. People, a lot right. of people just saying that around town. People, I like I've that. heard it. Have you yeah, heard? Yeah. Sophie knows a lot I've of words. I do. Hi, Shari. Hello, how are you? Great, Good, Shari. Shari. How's your musical knowledge, Shari? Mm, okay. Okay. <laughs> that's okay. Right. That's right. better than what we've had. Yeah, that's true. Okay, that's here's what's going to gonna happen. Our there. garage that's band will start singing. If you think you know the title of the song they're performing, we don't care about the artist, buzz in with your name. You get it right, you take the point. Get it wrong, we'll keep going. We'll yep. keep playing it. You can have another crack. So let's test some buzzers. Sophie? Sophie. Shari? <laughs> Shari. Be very Fantastic. loud with your names yes. too because we are playing a garage band. Now, we found this one in a lovely little three-by-two house in a cul-de-sac. <laughs> we 
Sophie? Yes, Sophie. Is it turning out? No. No, it no. is not, Sophie. Uh, we shall keep going. Yes, Sophie. You're the voice? Yes, yes Sophie. <laughs> girls were starting to worry us there for a second. Shari, uh, both hang your head in shame. Actually, to be honest, <laughs> you should both hang your heads in shame. <laughs> Sophie Lee, you're the one Come nil. All right, let's swing past another garage. Let's have a listen. That's it. You two need to be driven to the outskirts of Western Australia and left there. <laughs> that was, of course, as the, sung uh, we many heard times. the chorus. Poker face. Sorry. No, we no, can't use it now. You can't have it now. We're playing you the answer. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we can't tell you the answer Sorry. then you buzz in with the answer. The garage door sang poker face in the chorus. <laughs> Three times. <laughs> you two. Okay. We'll say no score on that one. Well, I thought, uh, by the way, that was very good by the garage store. <laughs> they, they were very good. Right. Sophie still leads 1-0. All right, let's see what's behind this garage door. Oh, well, I think they got zero chance of getting this one. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, Shari? Um... Rihanna thought, but um, maybe not. Um, Quick. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, no. Time's up. Oh, no, time's up. All right, we'll we'll right, we'll it's all right. We'll keep playing. Yep, yeah, that's right. Sophie. Yes, Sophie. Lady Gaga. Um... <laughs> no. No. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna play some more. Play. This might take all day. We're doing it. Sophie. Yes, Sophie. S and M. Yes. <laughs> give either of you any money, but you have won 1000 bucks cash. No, no, no. Okay, no. It's $800. Door. You're getting fined. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we'll pay you some slack because it's so early in the morning, but you were pretty bad at this I game. Hate you too. <laughs> I'm sorry, my, so fa- my favourite is when we played the answer to Poker Face. Yes, and, and Shari from <laughs> Shari. <laughs> Shari! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, oh. and that you thought that we might have played oh. two Lady Gaga songs oh, in a row. So funny. Um, All right. Well, well, I mean, well it it's happened. Over. It's done. <laughs> Sophie won. <laughs> and we're doing it again tomorrow against our better judgment. This is a podcast of Nathan, Nat, and Sean. Sean, how was it naming your children? <laughs> uh, I think you've got to put a lot of thought into it. I'm not one of to go to something really outlandish, but I think for the time, my kids' names these days are pretty common. Yes. Yeah. As you guys would know. Yeah. Um, so, but at the time, you kind of think, oh, this is a bit of a new wave. So, yep. Lachlan at yep. the time was a bit of a new wave, yeah. but there's heaps of Lockies, as you know. Yeah. Yep. Cooper was kind of the same. Yep. Oliver's currently, Oliver. I think, the top name for and boys. And has been yeah. for like 10 years. Yeah. And Sunny was and the most Sunny different. Sunny was a bit most yeah. different. Yeah, no. But so, there's heaps of Sunnies around. Yeah, that's you know, right. Yeah, there like, is these like days. now. I think yeah. you might have started yeah. the Sunny Wave, Sean. The funny thing is, then probably just at the end of that period, it all started coming back to like my dad is Henry. And really he, traditional and he didn't like his name because there wasn't many Henrys. But now there's Henry's yes. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you do really well with your kids' names, and I don't think that they would grow up having a problem with them. No, 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 no that'd know? be fine. Um, uh, <laughs> think about this child. Um, this woman is confused as to why people are pronouncing her child's name a certain way. Right. Um, she called her son. Um, oh, let we'll me spell, spell it out. P h e a r t. So you look P-H-E-A-R-T. at that and go, it looks like heart. So PH. But PH at the front. But it's a fart. So that's fart. Oh. So she's 
She she hasn't called her kids fart. Is she, that what she's she, saying? She has not clarified how to say the kid's but name. She said but how she how not says, to. But she's like, it's not fart. So <laughs> people are guessing, is it furt? Is it fayart? Is or it is fat? It, is it pH like but, but you say it? Or is it or is it or is it or is it, or is it um, a silent P? Hurt. Then why would you put it on there? Yeah. So that's hurt. Um no, or a silent H. Hurt. Silent but deadly. Silent but deadly, yeah. Hurt. How would you I don't know. It's, it's fart. fart. Maybe hey it's fart. Yeah, no matter how you yeah, it's no fart. matter what her yeah, intentions fart. are, yeah. it's Fiat. fart. It's fart. Definitely. Fiat. Fiat? Someone said the name, the, na- the mum's name was Petsy, right? Petsy. Yeah, Petsy. P E T S A Y. Petsy. Not Petsy. Like as in Etsy. Not Patsy. <laughs> no, no, Petsy. But Petsy. 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 So well, I reckon I mean. that she probably wanted a child to suffer the same way she did. Yes. Hit, with an obscure <laughs> name. Petsy. I think she's taken to the next level. So many people have said this straight away 100% he's going to use a nickname forever and change it as soon as he can. Oh, yes. yeah. Because his name is Far. Yes. His nickname's Windy. <laughs> <laughs> that is one really of his middle nice. names, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Colin. <laughs> I, when I was growing up, I wasn't happy with my name at all, right? And Nathan, it's not. It's, it's, it's not it's, a bad it's, name. It's, no, 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 and way, it would have been mate. fairly You're standard. Joking. You wouldn't have been standard. the only Nathan no, around. Nathan's well, everywhere. there weren't too many Nathans yeah. around, to be honest. No, no. But I, it wasn't I, a name where you went. Oh, no, no, I've never no. Heard it wasn't. A, it was no. But I wanted something a little bit more original because sure. my brother's name was Graydon. Yeah, and that's original. Yeah, and um, Graydon, like every, whenever they say, "Oh, this is Nathan and Graydon," people would always say, "Oh, Graydon, that's a nice name." And I would never say it about mine. You didn't get enough attention. And when I was growing up, I don't know why, whether I had seen a TV show or not, but in my mind, Nathan was the name of someone's butler. Right. And I thought... I've, you've given me a name to be of service to wealthy people well, while I live in a granny out. flat at their back. <laughs> <laughs> and I just thought, I want to... It's not a bad life. That. But I just thought that was unfair, Nathan and Graydon. I just thought that was... To me, that was really They're not unfair. equal. Right. Okay. It's They're not, not equal. equal. It's not equal in, in originality or mm. fanciness. Mm. There's a lot of people have um, common names, Nathan or Sean or Natalie, but they spell them ridiculously. Yes. So when people go up and they um, have to give their name and like yes, uh, passports to... or something... It, it, it's, you know. Oh, my name's Jack. Oh, but it's J A K. Like, how annoying that you have to spell a simple name for the rest of your life. All the time. Because your parents made it a little bit wacky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. To, no, no, no good. Yeah. No. Um, so, uh, you know, in um, honour of fart, <laughs> um, we would like to know if you were not happy with the name that was given to mm-hmm. you by your parents. Maybe you hated it so much you changed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let us know why you did not like the name that your parents gave you. We're going to give somebody $300 to spend at the Herdsman Market. Oh. WA's modern marketplace is ideal for your special Valentine's Day feast. It's all under one roof at the Herdsman Market. All right, 13, 24, 10. Maybe you like it now, but at some stage in your life, have mm. you hated your name? The Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. Lisbeth, hello. Hi, how are you? Now, Hi, Lisbeth. Lisbeth. Do you not like your name? Well, actually, it's not necessarily that I don't like it. I've just never been called it because everyone calls me Elizabeth. Sure. I know. It is like you're missing a vowel, isn't it? So why Elizabeth? Elizabeth. Well, my mother actually had L-I-S-B-E-T-H from a book and then wanted it to be a bit different and called me Lizbeth. So with a Z. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, with a Z, but then I didn't learn, and I called my daughter Eloisa, and she gets Eloise. So <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course like, it does. You know, I can't be the only one going through no. life, can I? <laughs> does it frustrate you, Elizabeth, that oh, it's it, Elizabeth? Because it that's what I'd think and straight I've, away. It, yeah, it really does frustrate me, because I actually hate the name Elizabeth, um, which is sad. But um, my, my good friends actually do call me Elizabeth, and I... Really like hearing that, but yes. yeah. I have to say, it doesn't like, feel right in your mouth, Lisbeth. Lisbeth, <laughs> it feels like you're doing it wrong, Sean. You yeah, know, it take it out of your mouth. You <laughs> take it out of your mouth. <laughs> well said, Lisbeth. Thank you, <laughs> Nancy. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, Nancy. Nancy. Do you not like your name? No, as a seven, eight-year-old child, I just felt like I should have a walking stick and grey hair. I just thought it completely only suited old people. You know what? It is an old lady's name. And I'm going to have to say that straight away. Even if, like, and, and how many people would have gone fancy Nancy as well? Of course. Maybe you would well, have heard that a thousand Oh, please times. don't. It's like when my yeah. mum was a child, like a baby, and who looks at a baby and says Marlene? Like, you know what yeah. I mean? And there's yeah. actually a younger Marlene yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that calls in, um, actually, I think she's in her 30s. Yeah, I went to school with a Marlene as well. Yeah. yeah. 
my nana, yeah, no, my, my nana was a Shirley. Like that's a again that's you're a already born name. into in the sixties. Mm. You're a sixty year old. I feel like up. a Shirley could come back around. I think Shirley will forever Ooh. be young because of Shirley Temple. Um, yeah. But it, it is, hasn't. Though, but hasn't it? <laughs> no. There'll be there be a Shirley out there, a young Shirley. Um, Nancy, did you know any other Nancys your age? No, no, definitely not. It's hard, isn't Absolutely it? not. No. Um, you guys need to check out the movie Duplex with um, Drew Barrymore because there's a scary old lady in the attic called Nancy. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, like Nancy. Oh, Nancy. 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 And it's like, oh, no, stop. Oh, Nancy. It just, yeah, it was torturous. <laughs> Nancy, did but you, you ever... want to hear something even worse? Yeah, oh, yeah. what? Do you know what name I wanted as a seven or eight year old? Oh, okay, this would be good. What? what? Ben is it. <laughs> Has anything changed? I'm like, no, I'm no, I don't like either of them. I'm like, what was I thinking? That's kind of equivalent. Or, can, I, I don't know. can I say? And then that would have been shortened, shortened to Bernie, Bernie and yeah. Bernie would be Nancy's husband. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I look, I didn't. My brain wasn't fully growing, just so you know. If I was yeah. going to be a girl, um, uh, if I was a girl, my yeah. mum, the name my mum had selected for me was Marnie. Marnie I would have been yeah. Marnie Morris. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. Linda, hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, Linda. All right, Linda. Do you not like your name? Uh, no, not certainly. Oh, I, I was growing too used to it, I suppose, but definitely as a teenager, I certainly didn't. Um, I was in high school, and that was when the Linda appliances yes. all came out. Sleep yes. wonderfully we warm, warm with, with Linda. Linda. <laughs> yeah, you definitely know that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a tough so, time yeah, to be Linda. High... Or a great time to be Linda, depending yeah, on how you looked yeah. at it. Yeah, that's it. So that's all I got all through high school. So, yeah, that was just not great time for me at all. I know, so, because straight away yeah. they would have thought, oh, yeah, you can get some with Linda. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> like, yeah, like, that's it's well-known it's well <laughs> yeah. fact yeah. that you sleep wonderfully yeah. warm with and Linda. And then I remember there was a spate of Linda electric blankets um, uh, electrocuting people. So Linda became a killer. So then no one wanted to sleep with Linda. No one wanted to sleep with Linda because <laughs> you would die. Tough time, Linda. <laughs> oh, thank you, Val. Hello. Oh, hello. Hi, Okay, Val. what have you got for us? Oh, well, my brother's name, uh, it's not his first name, it's actually his middle name. Um, it's um, meant to be James, but my parents spelled it G-E-M-E-S, so we always called him Gemmies. Gemmies. <laughs> G-E-S. 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 What are you doing? Why did they do that? Just to be different. Well, I, I think I think my parents just thought, oh, you know, we're going to keep James in the family because it was one of the great grandfathers, yes. but we'll spell it a little bit differently. Um, so um, yeah, we always used to just give him um, a lot of crap about his middle name. I'm not surprised. That is shocking. So, Don't sh- do that to that children. Is shocking. You're John, aren't you? Yes. And you, you don't, you, what Monica. Are you, Monica, that's Monica right, Monica. That was my great grandmother's name. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. But Monica, I, there were, I knew nobody whose whose name was Monica at the time when I was a kid. Yeah. And I'm like, this is, I couldn't Monica. spell it. It was it just to, to me. I might as you know, it, it might have been well have been given a Martian name. I was so mystified by it. And then now I'm like, oh, that's a cool name. Where did it come, where did it come from? It's my great grandmother's okay, name. So okay. everybody, all my friends, their middle names were Marie. Yeah, yeah. Or Louise. My that's it. They were the, they were the only yeah, two right. middle names that yeah. existed. So Monica's like, oh, God, that's out of the box. 300 bucks to spend at the Herdsman Market. WA's modern marketplace is ideal for your special Valentine's Day feast. It's all under one roof at the Herdsman Market. I'm going to give it to Nancy because she wanted Bernadette. <laughs> like, Nancy. I'm not sure. Bernadette sounds like a sister Bernadette, like a, nun, <laughs> exactly. a nun's name, doesn't it? This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Will you marry me? No. Thanks. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Nathan, Nat and Sean say I do when it comes to putting a ring on it. And you can plan the perfect I do with a Rosendorf diamond this Valentine's Day. Head to rosendorfs.com. All right, we've got six people lined up who are trying to put a ring on it and ultimately score themselves a Rosendorf one carat brilliant cut diamond ring valued at 15k. We're giving that away tomorrow. Plenty let's good news. Meet our six fabulous people. Well, let's kick things off with Pauline. Good morning, Pauline. Good morning, guys. Hi, Pauline. Pauline, Pauline um, uh, who would this ring be for, Pauline? It would be for me. It's the wow. right answer, Pauline. Um, <laughs> and, uh, can I just throw this out there? Yes. So all the women who we've spoken to the whole yes. week have said... The what? ring's for me. Yeah, and all the guys have had to say the ring's, rings for my, my partner. Misses. Yeah. Yeah, it's unfair, exactly. right? Mm. Yeah. Why can't yeah. they sell them and buy the new golf clubs? <laughs> well, well, oh, you're like, right, Sean. Why can't they sell the ring yeah, and buy something me. lovely for their partner? Or turn it into... <laughs> so why, why is that, Pauline? 
Because you can never have enough diamonds if you're a female. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's a, that's a very that. good answer. Interesting. And yeah, that's the problem, Nate. It's, it's the bling generation, yeah. Sean. Mm. Yeah. All right, Pauline. Well, you are Inequity. first cab off the rank. That means you get to choose who you would like to throw the coit for yeah, you. Just letting you know it is Sean's birthday. But Nathan's I'd like Nathan, please. Nathan, no, what? No, who? Nathan. Who? She said Nathan. Nathan, please. Oh, no, the Sorry, Nathan's Sean. Been the be- no, no, Nathan's no. been the best, and no, I've no. been the worst. Oh. That's <laughs> statistically. Pressure. No pressure. Okay, um, so at the moment, Pauline has one entry. <sighs> But Nathan, so remarkably good at coits. Oh, it's so <laughs> down, Natalie. Oh, my God. You are. Don't you just thumped it up. He's, so, he's famously very, very good at coits. So, <laughs> Shut up. Pauline, if he misses this, it's because he hates you. <laughs> oh, that's rough. Yeah, it's like he does. He will do it on purpose to miss. All right. <laughs> Stepping up to the line, the world coit. <laughs> <laughs> Never misses. Unless he wants to. Unless he wants to. Pretty much. Nathan. Here to upset women. All right. Here we go. go. All right. And the question in the air. Oh! Oh, oh, he missed Pauline. He missed missed Pauline. Oh, Nathan. Natalie's fault. That's that's because he wanted to, Pauline. Pauline, it did rattle around. It did. It it, it, it hit the chip. chip, Um, Pauline has one entry in the drawer. Jocelyn, good morning. Jeez. Hi. Hey, Jocelyn, Jocelyn. As it stands, you also have one entry in the draw, but Nathan could make Thank it more. You. Jocelyn, um, Natalie's ruined it, so <laughs> I think I'm off my game. So that's her, not me. All right. I have okay. faith in you. Who's it for, Joss? The ring. Myself. Mm, yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, right answer. Oh, my God. Um, I love it. Myself. Don't okay. The worst coits player ever to play coits. Is this better? Mm, doesn't work. <laughs> so no one this, is okay. this, this is going in. This is going in. Joss. This is for you. It. Here we go. All right. I can feel it. It's on its way. In the air. That's what you two do. You got one entry in the draw. You did that on purpose. I did not do yes. it on purpose. You were you, automatic. You, you missed on purpose. Normally, you could get it, land it blindfolded, Nathan. I got four. I literally just training. learned before. I got four in a row. Bam, exactly. bam, 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 bam. So when you but miss two in a row, it's because you're doing it on purpose. Now I know how Ellie feels. <laughs> Jane, hello. <laughs> Good morning, how are you? It's been a division in the team this one, Jane. <laughs> okay, you've got one entry at the moment, Jane. You get to choose who you want to throw for you. The birthday boy, Sean McManus, or myself? Oh, I'll have the birthday boy, thanks. All right, the birthday okay, boy. Good for you. The birthday Let's do it. boy. Here we go. Can Jane get more than one entry? Now remember, in the Sean is powered by secret eating. <laughs> uh, powered by Chico, Chico Rolls. Rolls. Um, who is this ring for? Oh, it's absolutely for myself. Yeah, absolutely yeah. for herself, Not Sean. Not pretending otherwise. Just quietly. Sean? I'm on the line. Here we go. Here, Here we go. Is. And it's in the air. Ooh. And you're absolutely one, just got one entry. One entry, Jane. It might be all it takes. Andrea, good morning. Hello, how are you? Hi, Andrea. Andrea. We're great. Um, you're being great. represented by Sean Skinny Talker McManus. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, I'm an Eagles supporter, but let's hope for once the Dockers win something. I'm going to throw this. You have some trouble, Andrea. Hey, wait, who's, the, who's the ring for Andrea? <laughs> uh, the ring for myself, because I'm single, so I, I need so to oh, give myself a ring. Yes. Okay. Okay. Hi. Here we go, friends. Here we go. And we're up. And <laughs> one entry in the drawer, Andrea. One entry. We move to Chris in Wanneroo. Good morning, Chris. Hi, Chris. Oh, good morning, guys. How are you going? Fantastic, Chris. We're not having you a good look around. Um, Natalie, no. Natalie is um, up, though. Got to bring it home. Here she is. Here she is. That's all right. I have faith in you, Nat. All yeah, right. faith She's in you. She's got faith. Who's That's the ring good, for? Chris. First, we need a bit of inspiration. Oh, definitely myself. Definitely okay. myself. Here we go again right, with these women. We're yeah. on here. Yeah. Uh, Oh, no, no good for you, Chris, no, Chris. unfortunately. Oh. One entry, though, that's all you need. Let's go on to Tam from South Perth. Hi, Tam. Good morning, guys. Hi, How Tam. are you? Nat- Natalie would like to know who the ring is for. Oh, well, me temporarily, yeah. Okay. Temporarily. What do you mean what temporarily? Do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, well, because my, my girlfriend's not ready to have a ring on it yet, so we'll have to wait and oh, see. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Is she a bit unsure about you? <laughs> No, no, we just both, yeah, it's a scary territory, you know. It is, isn't it? Have you been there before? Have you? (laughs) Oh, yeah, I give it a guy. Okay. He's he's, he's wonderful. Oh, really? That's good. Well, it's, it's, you know, all, all the girls are saying the rings. It's the Me Too movement, mm. isn't it? Yes, it's, it's yes. about me. Just me. It's the yeah. just me just movement. Me. All right, now, there's okay. a lot of pressure on this. No one's got one on this morning. And this is the first day this has happened. Mm. This is for Tam. And you know what I like about this? If you get this on for yeah. Tam, this means that it, it's it a means that one. she really should come in. That's right. There you go. The whole okay, Tam. I think so. Here we go, Tam. She's on the line. All right. 
It's in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie couldn't have fro- thrown it further. Tam, I thought <laughs> it I, actually landed in the suburb over. Tam, I thought I supported your love, <laughs> but it turns out okay. that my hand d- disagrees. <laughs> but you know what? One entry to everybody. That is all you need. Woo-hoo. Remember, tomorrow we are giving away this Rosendorf one carat brilliant, brilliant cut yeah. diamond ring valued at fifteen thousand dollars. And you have That's to answer your phone to get it. So yep. stay alert tomorrow. Yes. Okay. There will be one more opportunity. Yeah, there will be. Uh, another round. We'll be good tomorrow. That's <laughs> <We'll be> good. <laughs> we practiced more today I than ever. That's the thing. We need to, going on. In two I, weeks. I think we need to like, have one practice round and then that's it tomorrow. <laughs> Let's go none. It's who wants to be a nun? What? Well, we won't have any oh, practice. Oh, no practice. Oh, I okay, right, I went to religion as yeah, well. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Did you? Okay. Oh, no, no. We'll I'm, be Goldberg. I'm what? going mum. Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Now, this season of Married at First Sight, usually it takes a little while for the drama to get up and running, but no. they were happening while the weddings were they on. They wasted no time. Unbelievable stuff. So, uh, a little bit of a recap, Sean, if you haven't been watching. Okay. Sean's been watching. No, I've been checking late. out a little bit lately. Right. Didn't so, watch it to start. So, um, Janelle, who we've gotten in with yep. it right now, yes. um, uh, Janelle, um, her partner, Adam, was the, the other night, he was out at a bar and yes. it's being questioned whether he cheated with one of the other husband's partner as well. Um, they went missing for a little bit of time and, and the then pub. the uh, other husband caught his wife on the phone with Adam. Well, he thought it was with Adam. Yes. yes. So anyway, it's a whole big drama and then just so happens um, this week one of their challenges was to hand over their, their phone, phone to I mean, their what partner. what are the odds of that happening? Um, uh, especially after Adam could possibly have been messaging with Janelle about what went down no, with, at the bar. With Claire. Oh, with Claire. Claire. Sorry, what went down at the bar. Um, uh, this is um, Adam's reaction. Let me know if you think is guilty or not. Probably have like one or two squizzes and yeah. maybe I'll show you my family chat and my bridesmaids chat. Yeah. And then maybe... See, even then, I don't even want to see it. <laughs> Looking down yeah. a partner's phone for me is just yeah. something that I just don't do, you know. We're going well at the minute as well, so like I don't even want to like cause any unnecessary friction with this. Mm. And um, I don't want to read into something. Yeah. I don't feel the need to look down your phone. Oh, what a great because guy. Because you don't want her to look at a... yours. Chanel, welcome. Hi, Hi Chanel. Chanel. Janelle, at the time, did you think that he was just being a great guy or did you think that, no, there's something shifty about this? Well, the whole thing was the accusation was that Adam was on the phone to Claire. Yes. yes. And I was with Adam the entire night when he got back home. Yeah. We were on the phone to another couple. Okay. We were watching movies, having wine. We were cuddling. So I knew he wasn't on the phone to Claire yeah. because I right. was with him the whole time. So that's why I was so dismissive about it. I was like, well, I know it's not true. Yeah. So, I mean, but looking back at the footage last night, I was like, damn, how did I not see the guiltiness? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> how did you not? I'm so dumb. But that, no, that's the hardest thing because you're only seeing, and, and then also yeah. you're living in the moment versus yes. what is getting shown, shown and, exactly. and put together in yes. a way to make somebody yeah. look guilty or not guilty. Well, apparently this is why I asked my brothers to help me look for red flags because yeah. I'm clearly blind as hell. Yes. <laughs> but um, your brothers, I mean, they obviously sent something with him. They uh, did. And well, he, <laughs> and, he gave it up though, didn't he? <laughs> well, 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 even from the start when Janelle was saying, what do you do for a living? Because of my culture, um, you know, like it, uh, having goals, career goals is very important and to I me. And I think also any culture, yeah. just yeah. wanting yeah. to know what you, yeah. honestly, what you do for a living but is not a weird question. Would mm. not answer. It wasn't just edited that way. He wouldn't give you a straight answer, would yeah. he? Yeah, I mean, I learned pretty early on that he talks in circles to the yes. point where I didn't even know where his point went, so I didn't know how to respond. And I'm like, yes. where is this conversation going? Um, but yeah, I my brothers definitely did see something, and I think they were just trying to let me know. <laughs> well, when he gave up the information that he already cheated on his partner previously, and then mm. your brothers were like, oh, here we go. That, that is, but not that just is that. a red flag, Janelle. I in case he didn't see it. But not just that. <laughs> so someone that knows him has come out and said, and not only that, he didn't give the whole whole truth and that was it was a week before the wedding i didn't oh. know about that until i saw that article as well mm. like mm. i don't even think i knew they were engaged until like quite later on in that experiment too so he really gives like the half truth yes oh. <laughs> sort of, just, just sort of filters the information yeah through. watching we, it back to you is it, are you getting a very different perspective on what went down compared to what you experienced at the I time i am and yeah. it's very confronting to watch because i've been guilty in the past of letting people walk all over me. Yes. And it's just, just watching it happen on screen is like... <laughs> 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 I'm like, oh my like, God, I'm like, God, God, it is I thought I was intelligent. No, I'm stupid. Yeah. No, 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 you're not, not stupid. stupid. I think the word is trusting. You're a trusting person trusting. and you like yeah. to find the best in people. They're not bad things. Yeah. It's the, the bad behaviours coming from the other side. Yeah. No doubt about it. Janelle, um... 
when we're seeing everybody get together, they're always throwing a truckload of alcohol yes. I- in the room. And there's dinner party. And very yeah. little food. Um, how's it been in, uh, w- when you're going through this all those months? You're just getting full of it all the time or what? I mean, it was still a really fun experience because you didn't get to see the other couples unless it was like a dinner party. Sure. So you just milk that experience. Even like though you you're in talk the same building, you, don't, you really don't see them. Yeah, we're not allowed to see them. Oh. Yeah, because I mean, like, I understand they don't want anything off camera. Like, yeah, they sure. want everything to be genuine and so they can the viewers can see it. So, yeah. It's, it's, I, I feel like, so we've got Harrison, right? I mean, yep. don't even get me started. <laughs> that is insane. So we've got Harrison. Then we've got Shannon, who I thought was really great until he told the other his wife the other night that um, uh, her natural beauty isn't doesn't shine oh, as yeah, much as right. other people's and just, like, basically yeah. negged her and, on uh, her Yeah, and appearance. without makeup on, oh, you're not that great. Yeah, like, so we got her. And then <laughs> then we've got um, uh, uh, Jesse from here. Yeah. Oh, who's just an attractive Who just doesn't seem like thing. he's ready for a relationship. It just doesn't, it seems like a lot of the girls are there for the right reason, but the guys aren't. Thoughts? Oh, you're not off. You're not far <laughs> off, honestly. I, I can't believe the some of these men as well, especially watching it back. Like, yes. you don't see what happens behind those doors. Yes. Like, you know, we don't get to be in the room with them. So, seeing some of those behaviours, I was shocked myself. Yeah. That's not the side that I saw. It's yeah, when crazy. you heard Jesse's list of things that he didn't like in a person, yeah. it's like, well, there is no person in the world that <laughs> will keep you happy. It's not possible. Yeah. But, I are, mean, but are the questions coming at you so thick and fast when you're pulled aside by a producer that they're taken in different or, scenarios? Or so, so the question's isolation. so directed, is that mm, what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. Well, when I was watching Jesse on screen, that is, it, it did seem different to the Jesse that I know because I love Jesse. He's one of my friends. And yeah, I think you never know. Sometimes people say things in the moment when they're heated, and I think that might have happened to him. Wow. <laughs> I'll be in all sorts of my Interesting. I, I mean, I'm yeah, intrigued true. by your life, though. Um, tell us all about your um, TikTok following and all that sort of stuff because it's amazing. I, I always, I'm always amazed when someone is so, uh, they've blown up so much on, on social media and they live here in Perth. Yes, and you've created I am. this. Um, entire business. So how many followers and stuff do you have? So I currently I have 529,000 on TikTok oh, wow. and 40,000 on Instagram. Amazing. Janelle, we had a guy who worked for us, had way less than that. He still had a great oh, number and he left us yes. to be full time. Oh, yeah. So okay. I don't know if you know 100% that, Tim. Um, mm. He does um, He does very different things to you. <laughs> We have no idea. He puts on, he puts on, um, he puts on women's wigs and pretends that he's um, an old lady. Yeah. Um, but amongst other things, amongst other that. things, yeah. But um, so, how do you create a business out of that? Because you, mm. you, this yeah. is your business now. It is. So what happens? Um, it only became a business about a year ago because yeah. I saw a really good return on investment. Prior to that, I was doing makeup. I have been a makeup trainer for Mac before, so I have, and I also have a degree. So yep. I kind of didn't become an influencer until I saw that it could be a full time job. Yeah. Be- before. I started seeing regular income. So it's something that I worked hard towards. It's something that I accidentally stumbled across. I was just uploading selfies when I was working at Mac. (laughs) And it started blowing up and I was like, okay, I I guess I'll just take the snowball as it comes and I fell into it and I'm really lucky like it's an amazing job I get to yeah. connect with people on a deeper like a deeper level online I'm yeah I feel very lucky you get lots was, of free stuff I was I wondering, get a lot of free stuff I was wondering <laughs> how hard it is to put a price on what you do because I say like a, a company comes to yes. you and go oh we love what you do can you I don't know do something for us yeah and then then you got to figure out okay what's that worth um mm. is that taking a while to be able to work that part out um that's a good question I actually don't have Thank to do that <laughs> I would be asking this same thing. Um, I actually don't have to handle any of that because I have a manager. Yeah, that's so right. they get to do my yep. contracts, my pricing, because I'm terrible at negotiating money. Like yes. I said, I let people walk over me. I'd be charging way too low. Yeah, I, wouldn't yeah, know, right. I wouldn't know how to negotiate. Yeah. And, and content, fresh content every day. What's the deal? Is it just feeding like a, is it just feeding mm. an, like a moving machine? Pretty much. I think especially with TikTok, you have to stay on top of trends. Yeah. You can't just be someone who puts out content. You have to absorb that content as well. So if I'm not making content, Content, I'm scrolling through it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, it's, what a life. It's, it's a great... For you. I know, I get to scroll on TikTok for a living. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you mean, know what? You're doing very well. You're oh, doing very you. well um, not only on your social media, but on Married at First Sight, you were coming across... You, you should be proud of yourself the way you're coming across. You're very across. genuine. Oh, you man. don't look like a part of the, um, uh, the the garbage can fire. No. <laughs> some of these contestants. But I mean, oh, uh, we're not going to guess, but you and Adam still to get... Don't worry not about it. Not in any <laughs> Yeah. Look, I'm wearing a ring and that's all I can tell you. you're hilarious. Oh, well, that'll be great when you take it to cash converters. 
contractual <laughs> obligation ring. Our um, maths is back on Sunday to Wednesday on Channel 9. Thank you, Janelle. Thanks, Janelle. Sure. It's the Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. We're celebrating Sean's birthday today. Yes, we are. Nice. We've got to cook breakfast here. Yeah. Sean, mm. how are you yeah. poached eggs? Too hard, hard as a cat's head. <laughs> like ridiculous, actually. You know what I, I mean? I ordered avocado as a side, and I've never seen so much avocado. Really? Yeah, but, and I can't eat it all. I ordered crispy oh, bacon, yeah. you know um, made a point of asking for crispy, and a bacon has never been more flaccid. If we you keep going back to the same place. Bacon, we were, it would be another 45 minutes before we got our breakfast. I don't care. <laughs> you asked for something. But we keep going back to the same place, and every time we have a discussion mm. about not going to the same place. Yeah. Mm. Not a lot of options in the, early in the morning. Anyway, we digress. Yes. Hi, Ali. Hey. Hey, Ellie. <laughs> Ellie, it was lovely to see you yesterday and you had a special visitor, actually, your mm. partner's um, sister, which is great. She brought in her um, two kids yes. to have a look around the newsroom and things that you do during the show. Mm. Yeah, just come in and see uh, a radio station and w- what it's like and me and see me. The little um, boy who was about three, adorable. What is yeah. their, what is their yeah. availability? Are they able to come in every day? Why? <laughs> Because when I walked in, if you remember, I walked in and I said, Ali, can I uh, get a grab? And you were like, absolutely. And then you did it. <laughs> and then absolutely, you did it we've in never, heart, like one second we've without never daggers. Seen you more agreeable. Without calling me all kinds of names. <laughs> she was smiling as she was walking around. She was giving everyone like the most kindest look. <laughs> You have never looked more lovely and approachable. Really? Yeah, you in your entire existence here like, at Nova. Who is this woman? This is great. Because I was in the presence of babies. Yeah, can yeah. you get them to come in all the time so that you're nicer around us? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure can we can. Can I just say, it's so funny because it's like when um, people are around my mum. So when me, mum and dad are talking to each other, like swear words are just nothing, you know what yeah. I mean? Like Wharfies would be shocked about what comes out of our yeah. mouth. Yeah. Yeah. And then when there's one other person around, mum goes, oh, don't use that language. <laughs> Even if you say bum, that's what you're can I say my mum did that to me in Europe as well? We were oh. in a, an Uber in London, and I was I was think I were in the back seat, and I was I said a swear word or something, and she was like, "Not in the presence of a gentleman, Ellie." Oh, <laughs> it's like suddenly, why do people around our mum's age suddenly go back to 18th century versions of themselves? <laughs> hey, my lord, you've seen my knees. Like, what are you talking about? You're not fooling anyone. <laughs> anyway, Ellie, we'd like to see fun, Ellie, a little bit more around oh, here. Yeah, that's that's great. Great. She only comes out on a blue moon. Oh, okay, it's a shame. Nathan, Nat and Sean in podcast form. Tom oh. Ballard. What an honour. Comedian. Is that my music? Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> my subjects. Good morning, Beth. Good morning, There's not many Tom. people we let come back no, we within a week, so well, no, welcome Not many back. people want to come back. That's also a great point. Yeah. 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 Guys, i got nothing to do. I'm a comedian in Perth, okay? This is my whole day. What are you talking about, mate? You've been here long enough to get the keys to the city. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, have, you have done the unusual thing of sort of doing four nights and then having the rest of the week off and then doing four nights I again, did right? five nights, thank five you, nights, that, I had, that I had Monday, Tuesday off. It was my little weekend yes. to rest and recuperate and go over my jokes about my penis. And now I'm back for five more. Um, so um, some comedians uh, have the life, don't they? Dave Callan got a job on a cruise ship, right? Mm. Yep. Um, and it was one performance every ten days. Yeah, it was. The, the first couple of cruises. Yeah, first couple, like, cruises. Yeah, first yeah. couple of cruises. One performance. In Towards ten days. the end and as well. 10 days. Yeah, 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 yeah. He made but, a lot of friends with the, the band members. And, and, and the juggler. <laughs> and That's the juggler. Impressive. Has um, anybody ever asked you to do cruise ship comedy? Sure. The cruise has not happened to me, no. I have a lot of friends who have had it. They've had a myriad of experiences. Yes. Of course, the big thing is if you bomb, then you're on, trapped on a boat that, with the audience yes. who just watch you eat that's crap. Right. So that's yeah. no good. A great story. I won't mention the comedian, but a comedian friend of mine was doing a book to do comedy on a cruise. Did the first night. She did not go well. It was brutal. It was tough. (laughs) She goes back the next night, checks the list. Her name's not appearing on the list for the comedy show. She's like, oh, that's weird. Goes to talk to the booker. And the booker booker says, okay, I want you to sit down. We're going to go through your act. And you explain to me why it's funny. Oh! Oh! (laughs) That's how you get air checked on radio. (laughs) (laughs) It's the same deal. It's like you booked me. I I want you to explain to me how that's funny. (laughs) (laughs) That is the best thing I've ever heard. And then, and then stuck on that ship with those people for another week. I is think she still got paid and she just, yeah, spent oh. the rest of the cruise not doing comedy. And, uh, oh. I don't think she's really reassessing her life priorities. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you've got to hide out around a kid. Oh, oh, anyway. How's the show's been going, Tom? A bit of joy. A bit of joy, yes. Perth audiences are very enthusiastic Thank and it's you. great. Some yes. would say thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> thirsty for laughs. 
Yeah, we are. Uh, no, it's been a joy. Uh, Sunday night was a very interesting show. Mm-hmm. The power went out about six times in my little venue. I'm at the Oasis Comedy Club at the Brisbane Hotel. Tickets on sale now. Get involved. <laughs> um, and it's an awesome venue. It's like a... I mean, first of all, it's not in a tent, so... No, yeah. that's right. And like, it's been a comedy club there for a long time. It's great. Yeah, it used to be yes. Lazy Susan's now. Yes. Oasis, really great yeah. room. But the three-man tent that you usually play in, that sells out quite quicker, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm normally doing Cirque du Soleil over there, so yeah. yes. Uh, so it's nice just to be in a building and, yeah, really great comedy club, but um, it's been, it was a very hot week last week and clearly something happened and uh, the room could not take it anymore. The power went out about six times throughout the course of the hour, Yeah, uh, which I've never been heckled by the electrical system <laughs> in a venue before. <laughs> and the same night, it's always when it rains and pours, the same night there was a lady in the audience who had a very distinct sound come out of her oh. whilst I was doing my comedy. I was recording on my phone. Apologies for this crappy audio, but uh, this is a taste of what went down at Tom Ballard. Is it is I on Sunday night? A balloon? So wait there, wait there, what end did that noise come out of? It's very hard to tell. It was the strange, it was just, it was a moment, there was a very rare moment of silence during my show, and the laugh could cut through. I believe we've isolated the laugh. Yes, All right. We have. So this is the lady laughing uh, at my jokes. What was Muttley doing there? <laughs> it was a puppy vibe, right? Think? Straight away when you hear that, you go, what would she be like in the sack? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tom. Uh, having a good time by the sounds of it? Tom, over the Christmas holidays when I was down south, I, I wrote this in my phone because I went into this restaurant, this guy outside, and he started laughing too. And it was so um, distinct how loud mm. and weird it was that the whole restaurant was then get. Everyone felt yes. like they needed to laugh with him, but it was endearing. It must be I'm so sure tough. That's endearing. Yeah. Well, and, uh, yeah, look, she uh, when I started talking to her about it, of course, she, she gave the impression that this happens to her every time she goes to comedy. And if you do enough gigs, you will come across yes, crazy, ridiculous laughs. And I did an hour show in Perth, uh, in Brisbane, rather, yeah. once, and about ten minutes in, this woman laughed, and it was like Fran Fine. It was like... <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, that was very funny, and I'm hanging crap on her, we're all laughing, la 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 and then, and then I have to move on with the show. This is 50 minutes left. Yes. But, of course, she either genuinely laughs yes. at the jokes, and it gets less funny for the rest of the audience throughout the course of the hour, or <laughs> she doesn't laugh at all. Oh. So when you've got such a distinct laugh, people know exactly what you do and don't yes. find funny. And so you're bombing with one very specific person for the rest of the hour. <laughs> yeah. This sounds like the torture of a dolphin. Let's play yes. it again, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> she deserved it. Remember that French talk show that got all the people yes. with the funny laughs and then yes. just put them on stage together? That's she right. needs to be there. It's so good. It's, it's good. The they best. should have special shows for the yeah. ridiculous laughs. And then laughers. they just, because then they trigger one another and yeah. it's great. They should be segregated and they shouldn't <laughs> yeah. come should to normal shows. <laughs> okay. Look at islands like Rottnest prepared for people like that. <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> it's the quokkas and weird laughers. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, I like that so much. Uh, too good. Oh. Um, I think I think people with we love so they must they must dread it because obviously it comes up sort of almost every single kid, yes you know there's well. some that dread it but there's some that wear yeah, it as a badge of honor yeah, oh, yeah they kind yeah. of love the yes. attention yeah no uh, anyway you're not going anywhere that's right because no, you haven't left since last week <laughs> this is a podcast of Nathan Nat and Sean. Harry's having an absolute mare on the panel today. (laughs) Harry, you seem like you're a gazelle. And you're not on either. I'm not either. Can I just say, right, so Harry's now got a little show that starts before our show called The Early Show. (laughs) And ever since, just slight sabotage for our show. Let it go, mate. It's never going to happen, okay? Exactly. (laughs) You're a big deal. Uh, You're too um, gazumped on the panel. Hold on to Leah from Kingsley, who is off to see Tom Bauer this evening. All right, I hope you guys will be Everybody else can get tickets. But we're here for a beautiful day, aren't we? It is Sean McManus' birthday. Sean sure, McManus, we've gotten you a beautiful cake. Explain it to everyone what you have here. It is a cake made of Chico Rolls. In fact, I'm not sure much how much cake is in there, but Chico <laughs> Rolls is a debate a we had the other day, Tom. Chico oh, yes. Rolls. Yes. Uh, what, for or against? No, well, Sean is a secret eater, so Sean acts like he's all skinny and just eats grains, but in real life he's... he's Plow, yeah. Plowing like bloody here he chicken protein rolls shakes at home, he's eating those. Yeah, oh. I had two chicken rolls last week. Yeah, okay, Tom. The, the fire alarm is definitely yes, going to go Yes, we're about off. to set up the smoke alarm. <laughs> and Tom, I always thank you, everybody, by the way, and I always have a chicken roll with tomato sauce. We put it out there Beautiful. to our audience. Yep. No Very one's few. Got behind me. No, no one has a chicken roll. I think roll it's with a sauce. sacrilege to put the sauce. I put sauce on a chicken roll. Do you? Thank yeah. You, like you Tom. always, you'll put sauce on a chicken roll. I, I mean, I never really eat them. My body is a temple. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like some fat pieces of crap in this gym. <laughs> <laughs> if I was going to eat that, yeah, definitely tomato sauce. You're no eating way. a Chico roll. No. You can't get any lower. No, like, no, you've got to put all the salt on it. That's it. It doesn't oh, need a sauce. Salt, it just needs to be a salt. Go on, Sean. Sure. We better have a bite in there. Oh, look, he's, no. he's going to act like he's never eaten one before. Oh, yeah, just taste that little lady nibble. I'm going to eat it from the middle. Oh, how does this work? This is different. Ram it in sauce. I want to say this monstrosity. Ram it in sauce. That is disgusting, Sean. A Pluto puff. Have a go. No. Okay. You want to put it? It's weird how there's an obesity crisis in this country. It's a fathom, isn't it? Isn't that weird? Oh, this is this. Nathan is addicted to sim- dim sims. Like okay. he was a, a like a drug addict, full yeah, on. Drug I would like. I was lying about who they were for to the people at the shop. <laughs> I made up a person. I went, oh yeah, I know. God, he's got a problem, doesn't he? <laughs> I've got, I've, I've I've got to go in the car kids, and start yeah. ramming in my mouth. It was oh. so bad. Six a day, by the way. That was terrible. Oh my goodness. Right. Get in there. There you go. Make a boomerang out of that. <laughs> <Right. laughs> <laughs> no, right. Haven't I learnt from politics? <laughs> Don't do things now, like now you, you want to take it off. No, thank you. Oh, okay. No, no, you don't need it. It is, it is, it is unnecessary. Bull Darren. No, it's oh, unnecessary. Harry, have a go at a bloody Chico well, roll. Oh, with Harry, sauce on it, mate. Oh, Harry would literally eat anything. It. He's going to spill it all over the desk. And he's oh, white. Hey, Tom, Tom, why Harry's doing this? Nathan did talk about the dim Simmons, but he also had another thing where he ordered at Subway that yes. he was embarrassed to do. Can you tell Tom, please? Um, okay, so <laughs> it was. Um, I would order a Subway, and it was um, tuna and salami, <laughs> which is my version of surf and turf. <laughs> and, um, and every time I'd go in there, the sandwich artist would go, "Oh, tuna and salami." <laughs> so then I acted like it was. To someone else. Just, okay. just someone morning. at the office. You can't make that sandwich and call yourself a sandwich artist. I feel no. like that would go against the Oh, that would just like, Oh, and I said, no, no, no. I said, yeah, no, it's so weird. It's for my friend. <laughs> oh, no. It's weird how you always went in there and never ordered anything for yourself. I was so, <laughs> just a selfless person. Tutor and salami, please. Oh, thank you, team. Appreciate Tom, it. Happy oh, birthday, Sean. Go and see Tom Ballard. He's very funny. We promise. He makes people laugh. Half right to Half price tickets for all you guys. Oh, oh, half half price? Price. Yeah, that, that's the entire audience. He said that. Wow. <laughs> um, Fringeworld.com.au. Yeah, tickets? that'll do. Nice. Get sure. a little Google sure. and here till Sunday. And come along and thanks for having me on. Can Enjoy it. it. It's not bad to get a chicken roll again. <laughs> this is not bad. Nathan, Nat, and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.